Hello there. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Lee, aka Gen X Jen. Um, welcome uh, if you're new and, and welcome back if you're not. Um, I am finally getting around to reacting to Tales of the Jedi, um, a series of uh, animated shorts that are set during the prequel era. Um, I know very little about them. I've been, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, they've been out for a few weeks and I've been, uh, been putting off watching them until I had time to sit down and do a reaction. Uh, I don't know uh, much. I, I know that they uh, primarily focus on Ahsoka and Dooku. Um, with so, some other characters thrown in, I know that Anakin, um, it's, they're, they're uh, he's in, he's in, he's in at least one of the episodes. Um, yeah, um, we see more of uh, his training Ahsoka. Um, and I think uh, Obi Wan also makes an appearance. Um, and I do know that uh, Dooku faces off against Yaddle in one of the episodes, and Yaddle dies. I have been spoiled on that. Um, and I, I've also heard that uh, Bail Organa makes an appearance, and I'm I'm happy about that because I I'm always happy to, to see Bail. Um, I don't think there's there's been enough of him in anything. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that he shows up in Andor. Um, if, I mean, there's only a, two episodes left of the first season, so probably not in the first season, but maybe in the second season. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, other than that, I, I, I know uh, nothing about these. I know that um, there, there's been a lot of praise for them. They're, uh, they're the, the same quality as uh, the Clone Wars series and the Rebels series. Um, they're from uh, the same creators, um, and uh, there's uh, there's six episodes, and they're they're all pretty short. But um, as I'm uh, filming this, I am in quite a bit of pain. I did uh, too much heavy lifting over the past couple of days, and put a lot of strain on my back. So I'm hoping to make it through uh, three episodes for this reaction, but I'm not sure if I can. I might have to stop after two. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, with that, I'll I'll do I'll do my best to to get through uh, three episodes, and then I'll I'll lie down and edit. <laughs> so um, without any more uh, chatter from me, let's just get this started. There's baby Ahsoka. Ahsoka. You must face death, Ahsoka. Do not fear it. How can how can she not fear death when I mean, she sees this dying animal in a lot of pain right in front of her? God, now she's gonna have to watch this. Uh oh. I shall carry you and the Kaibuk. Unless you would like to carry him. <laughs> oh, you better turn around. Oh, I think Ahsoka sees it. She doesn't know what it is, she doesn't recognize the danger. Turn around. Oh, it's a saber toothed tiger. Oh, you're no match for this. And it's a lot bigger and stronger than you. Did that do anything? Being very gentle with Ahsoka. Uh oh, it's hungry. Use the force, Ahsoka. Calm it like Grogu called the rancor. Yeah, she did it. Is it? 
Yes, wait. Tiger, where's Ahsoka? She's writing it. That's amazing. Oh, you're all done. Very happy to have her back. Now they know there's something special about Ahsoka. Are, are they aware that she's force sensitive? Does this uh, give them a clue that she could be? to the Jedi means giving her up. Set us down well clear of the village. So this, this is the young Dooku. Yes, Master. Who's that with him? Is that a young Qui-Gon? So Dooku did train Qui-Gon. I think it is. Allow me to make my intentions clear. Huh. Just revealing that he's a Jedi. Jedi. Jedi ambassadors. For every, you could see the effects of his long-standing policies. Oh, so they don't like their respect. senator. If you don't like him, why not elect a new senator? I wish it were that simple. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps in the beginning, Senator Dagonet was a good person. Had the interests of the people mm. in mind. But then he became corrupt. Well, I will show you where the senator's son is. You're one of the kidnappers. They all are. Ooh, wow. All of them kidnapped the senator's son. It's not much of an ordeal. So he has sympathy for the people. I rarely leave the capital. Huh. When I do, I spend time off world on Coruscant. Not here. He had no idea what was going on on his home world. How could my father allow this to happen to his people? You don't blame He's them. He's on their them. side. What choice do they have? The senator. He's here. He's brought soldiers. No, I don't think so. What is the Jedi gonna do? You serve the Senate. No. We serve the people of this Republic. Yeah. They don't serve so you. Ready. You're no match for Jedi. Blind you. I will destroy this town and make an example of it. And many others. You're supposed to be serving your people, but you'd rather even you, burn down uh, your home world so you can stand atop the ashes. Wow, he's force choking him. to his level. How could you do this? These are your people. Our people. <sighs> now that he sees how much he's disappointed his son, is that gonna... What effect is that gonna have on him? Oh, it's 
Mace Windu. Someone named Master Catry. Never heard of uh, that Jedi. I thought maybe this uh, this episode might be about the death of Cyphodius, but I guess not. We cannot involve ourselves in local political skirmishes unless requested by the Jedi High Council or Senate. My friend, Mace is a stickler for the rules. Sometimes inspiring and sometimes. I think Dooku is really suspicious of this senator. It's that he's hiding something. We should take this so is Windu. Do you want Catra to leave without finding out what happened to him? I would want her to find Dooku wants to know more. If Master Catra were fired upon here, why are there any blast marks on you? That's suspicious. No damage. Judging from your description, someone fired from the direction of the ship. For a Jedi to succumb to a surprise attack is rare. Unless yeah, that attack she probably would have sensed an attack coming. Trust, like you. Oh, well, he's taking action truth. against him. Dooku, stand down. The guards killed her. Who shot him? God. He was protecting them. And they shot him. I guess the guards knew that he was about to wrap them out. But he, he did wrap them out. Beginnings of Dooku's mistrust of the Jedi. Mace is very idealistic. Maybe he was right, maybe he wasn't. Your ideology, while faulty, does have its points. I'm surprised to hear that from a Jedi. <sighs> yeah, Dooku's Dooku. not going to be a Jedi much longer. I'm not sure. Exactly what point methods, in the, the timeline this takes place. Right to believe they'll be happy to know that we solved Master Catry's murder. But will they be happy with your tactics? I have no <laughs> problem yeah. explaining myself. Now let me ask you one thing. Proceed. Do you think the Jedi will truly keep peace if they continue to take everything the Senate says as law? Luckily, we guarded by our council and not by politics, nor ego. Mm. Is that really the case, or is, just, is that just what Mace wants to believe? Oh, it's Yoda! I am told you will be presented with Master Catra's council seats. Oh, so this is um, how we do try on the council. Dooku is mistrustful of everyone at this point. Well, I made it through uh, three episodes. Um, the, the heat wrap on my back is, is helping some. But um, I'm going to have to to make this outro short because I really need to lie down. Um, these are uh, very interesting. The first three episodes were very interesting. Um, not much of a, a of Ahsoka, just uh, the first episode showing how her, her village learned that she was force sensitive. But, uh, yeah, I know she, she had to have been uh, pretty young, you know, not much older than she was uh, in that episode when uh, she had to leave her family and village behind and they, they had to give her up. And, 
I, as it would be, I, I, I wanted to see more to see uh, how they uh, how they wrestled uh, with that decision to to give her to the Jedi. Um, you know, did they were they resistant to it at first? Well, of course they they would be. I mean, they love her and don't want to give her up. But um, I guess they they saw that she had a greater purpose. Um. But anyway, the uh, uh, the second uh, the second and third episodes were pretty much about Dooku. Uh, you can see the beginnings of him uh, turning away from the Jedi, and we know that he eventually becomes a, a Sith apprentice to Darth Sidious um, after the the death of Sifo-Dyas, which I thought the third episode was going to be about when I saw that uh, the uh, the description said. Um, that the, the Jedi were investigating uh, the death of a, another Jedi. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not sure uh, at what point in the timeline this takes place, but it's got to be shortly before Episode One, and that was uh, at around the time that Sifo-Dyas died, and um, and I guess he was uh, it was actually uh, as we all know it was actually. Tyrannus, aka Dooku, who ordered the creation of the clone army, but uh, he pinned it on sifo um, The Kaminoans uh, thought that's who it was. But, uh, anyway, um, this uh, this leads me wanting to, to see more. I know that the the next episode is about uh, Yaddle finding out what Dooku was up to, and she battles him, and that's how she's killed. Um, but I'm going to have to stop here because my back is hurting so much. I've got to lie down. So I, I hope you all um, in, enjoyed this reaction. Uh, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. All that stuff that I'm always saying. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out my, my channel for other content um, that I already have and that, and that more content that's coming. I will be... Uh, doing a, a reaction to the uh, the second half of uh, Tales of the Jedi uh, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, again, thank you for watching. Until next time, see ya.